Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we got Lego The Hobbit Level 10 Flies and Spiders. Free play. Not a big fan of flies or spiders, so this was not one of my favorite levels. We uh, do recommend that you complete the story and grab Saruman and Sauron, which is uh, shown in our Preparing for Free Play video, if you uh, just so happen to need some help with that. And you can find that in our Lego The Hobbit playlist. Now, uh, you saw there, Bilbo gave a little smack to Gandalf. Quite frankly, because I'm tired of hearing him clang that, uh, his staff and his sword, clang, 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 sitting there. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and choose free play and uh, get started here. And right off the bat, we find ourselves a little sicky poo. So, we're going to switch on over to Radagast and we're going to help this little guy. And he's going to return the favor by giving us the first mini kit. So, walk up and hit the icon indicated and the mole will disappear and poop out a little mini kit so we're off and running with a dirty kit already so that's good to know again that hand sanitizer hopefully will come in handy i don't know if that's going to be a treasure trove item or not uh, actually i do it won't be for the record I, that's just me being being weird about poopy things so all right enough talk about fecal let's go ahead and slide back into the story we will go ahead and uh Get our big buddy Thrain with his hammer smash to smash that rock and slide it on over. That gives us access to the old log bridge, which we can take across. Now, there is an owl up there in the high left that we will come back and get here in just a second. There's another one up on the high right right now as well. So we're going to get our boing on real quick. Ba -boing, ba -boing. Make sure you turn your stud multiplier on if you are playing with, uh, well, if, and if you have any red bricks and you're trying to get that requirement. Now, uh, feel free to use anybody with projectile, arrows, wizardry, uh, slingshot, and nail that first of five owls. And there's number two. Now, hey, if you're just joining us and you have no idea why I skipped mini kit number two and went straight to three, it's because we get another mini kit before we get all five owls. That's the easiest way to explain it. Um, we won't count all the owl mini kits until we actually get all five of them. So. We do get another one right here before we get the rest of the owls. And this one can be found by pulling out your shovel, your trowel, pulling out old Sam I Am, whoever you prefer, and dig up this dirty mess over here. Good news is, though, it gives us a nice little handle. You could always bypass that if you have the old mithril crank forged as well. Then you can just pull that bad boy out and slide it on there. It's kind of like a little mini cheat. And watch out for the bottom of the boat. It seems to have a hole in it. I can't see it from here, but it's clearly, uh, yeah. All right, so use the icon indicated rather than trying to hop in manually. And it'll drop you in there and take you on back. Row, row, row your boat to the mini kit. Thanks for watching our videos of Lego the Hobbit. Woohoo! That's kind of a mouthful, eh? Okay, hey, get our bounce on right here. Do you guys like our little tune? <laughs> Sometimes I like to sing and have fun. Sometimes it works out, other times it's not so funny. All right, there is a purple stud on the left-hand side of this crack here. Ooh, purple. Got to grab that and uh, go ahead and switch to uh, Sam to get your burn on. Pull out our little hobbit, the pyromaniac. And uh, we can also skip pulling out Sam, or I, I guess if for some reason somehow you don't have him, you can use Ori to uh, blast those little lily pads over and uh, climb over there and get the flame stick. That's right, the old stick o fire. And we skipped that completely, and we're actually going to focus on this this owl up here. Who, you say? I'm talking about the owl up there. That's who I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, you know me. I can't. It's, it's just like when I'm with my son, and we're on, like, a road trip somewhere, and we drive by a big field of, like, hay, you know, like grass feed for animals. I always point and go, hey! And he's always like, what, 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 what? Oh, man. You know, because it's hey. Just one of those things. Can't pass up. All right. So uh, in the front ground here, there is some bricks that you need to destroy. And then switch on over to Bilbo. Put on his ring real quick. And then uh, that will allow you to build up the rest of what's normally a checkerboard. But it's not really a checkerboard this time. It's just kind of a, I don't know, Middle Earth board. See, it's all, it's kind of like skid marks. Yeah. Anyways. Um, all right. So uh, on the first uh, movable platform here, the one that kind of spins around, the spin-to-win spin platform, 
you're going to find yourself uh, not only a bouncing lily, or I don't know what that is, bouncing mushroom, but you're also going to find owl number four. So we only need one more for that mini kit, and you can see we've got it labeled number three, so you know that's coming next. Go ahead and drop a rock in the uh, sack again, and it'll spin that little platform around one more time. Then we're going to need some wizardry over here, so... And uh, just a little heads up, it does take a half a second once you blast it for it to destroy or for it to pull back. But uh, all right, there he is. Who you say the last owl is who I'm talking about? <laughs> all right, that's the last of the owl jokes, I promise. And make sure you grab the mini kit after you get all five of them, because it does just kind of present itself where whichever the last one was you grab. Now this does not take rocket science, but at the same time, it's easily overlooked. There are three colors on that little uh, stake behind it. You're going to want to match those colors up by bouncing on the mushrooms. And then pick up the little vial there and add that to our collection. So it's only the first of four. We got three more we'll show you before this video ends, I promise. And uh, that's the same goes for all the many kits and the blacksmith design too, a.k.a. the schematic. All right. On this second platform, you're going to want to switch to Bilbo and put on the ring and build up the old slingshot sack. And then, of course, switch back to our main man, the slingshot cannon, Ori. And uh, watch out for that. Your first step's a doozy. My depth perception in this game is not what it used to be. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting old or if it's just funny angles or what. But once you get over here to all the rest of your pals, it'll queue up a cutscene, which we've actually removed. And we just sped right into the next area here. And before you get too far, there is actually another set of spiders. Uh, kind of like the owls hiding up there. They all have uh, black bottoms with little red targets. So I don't know if Target threw some money down and sponsored this game secretly or if uh, they're just going with the old school targets. But uh, either way, well played, well played with the branding there. And uh, that's number one of five, as I mentioned. And uh, there's kind of one lonely stranger, and then the last three are in one clumped area, so it's not too hard. And as we continue on here, we just simply need to use our grapple on this spider. He's got a, a big old grapple belly. It's kind of in a questionable area there. But uh, I don't know. That's kind of kind of weird. I guess that's his fault for getting the piercing there, huh? <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Here's the uh, lonely spider I was telling you about. You might have to blast a couple things its way before you get through the spider webs and such. But uh, make sure you get him before advancing here. And then we're going to, uh, well, we're going to free one of our buddies and then uh, some bricks drop. And we actually can build those up into a grapple. The grapple, once pulled, actually reveals a little hobbit hole. And this gets a little tricky here. As soon as you come out, you notice that there is a arrow hole. So we're going to do our job as an elf and fill the hole. Giggity. And once we jump up there, look at that. We're rewarded with the mini kit. So thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Got six more to go and a couple of other items to go with it. Now, this was terrible. I, I'm late, I don't know what it is. Like I said, this game specifically, I died a lot. Like, I die sometimes. I'm, I'm not the greatest to ever hold a controller. But, you know, holy cow, I have died so many times. Like one of our viewers, Paul, said, if I had a nickel for every time or a dollar for every time Brian died, I'd be able to pay my rent this month. I told him he must have cheap rent. But the reality is I've died a lot. <laughs> All right, so here's the cluster of three guys, and there's number four in the back right and number five in the back middle. And, uh, yeah, so make sure you grab those. You don't have to grab them right here. If you need to get a little closer, you can. Should be able to get them from back here, though. As you can see, it didn't take me long to target them with Legolas, Mr. Greenleaf. And uh, put on the ring on Mr. Bilbo real quick again and go ahead and stab those dudes. Once they are gone, you will have very little threat, and you can go ahead and switch on over to Sauron so that you can uh, take out these undead bricks. I don't know if that's what they're called. But that's what I'm calling them. The Batty Bricks. So they kind of look like they got bats. Here's another good moment here with a little cap. Let's see, look, I don't know what's going on here. Like I, I'm like stuck. Good thing I was able to jump out. But we'll go ahead and grab the little beehive there. And I guess it's not. It's more like spider bombs. It's kind of cool, actually. This is this is a really cool treasure item. You throw this little, uh, I don't know, it's like a little web bomb, and it hits, and spiders go everywhere. I'm assuming it attacks bad guys, but there was really no bad guys to take out, so was not able to figure that out right now. 
But uh, I'll go ahead and rescue both of your pals, one on either side of you, and then it'll actually uh, reveal a nice little grapple hook that you can get your double buddy swing on. And before getting too far up there, make sure you put on the ring on Mr. Bilbo. And then he can go up there and take out this nice last spider guarding the entrance down low. So we've only got one buddy left, and he's up top here. And we're going to go up there and get him now. But before we do, don't free him yet. Switch to one of your, uh, switch to your goblin. And we'll go ahead and climb this goblin wall over here. And as you might have guessed, like the notation says, mini kit number six awaits you at the top. Now I have this moment of like, uh, did I get everything? I think I forgot something. And uh, even though I was reading my trusty guide that HTG Doug put together for us, with the help of, uh, what, uh, with one of our friends, I, I don't want to slaughter the name, I believe it's uh, War Bear, Modern War Bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so once you're confident you've got all the stuff in the area, including all the spiders and that goblin mini kit up top on the wall, uh, go ahead and advance by saving your last buddy. And there's a little cutscene that happens, and you realize, wait a minute, we've got three more guys to save because we have not saved them all. And you know what? Just like Pokemon, got to get them all, got to get them all. Or I guess Chin Pokemon, huh? Anyways, uh, yeah. So there's spiders continuously coming, dropping down from the skies here. And I, like I said before, I'm not a big fan of spiders, so I was uh, trying to get through this level as quickly as possible. Now in the back right, this is kind of an important factor, but we didn't really attach it to the uh, collectible in a minute. But you, you're going to want to use your wizardry on that blue box, glowing box in the back right. And then these two sick flies come out. So we're, we're going to actually help these flies in a minute. But before we do, we're going to switch on over to Saruman and blow up the mithril bricks and sneak into this little secret cave over here. Oh, and look at that. Man, do I need to invest in one of those right there. First of all, take out the skeleton and grab the crank. But boy, that bouncy castle. Woot! Lego bouncy castle? That's pretty sweet. Once you pick out the crank, follow the uh, indicated icon arrow that uh, takes you over to this old uh, what a phonograph here. And then uh, dance a jig with the skeletons. Dun, 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 dun. I thought this was going to... Uh, hose me on getting the mini kit here because like these guys are dancing around and doesn't seem like it's ever going to end and I can't really take them out or nothing and then BAM it pops up so uh, I did swing my little tether ball around and I hit a few people so if it doesn't pop up for you make sure you do some damage on the skulls or skeletons and get your bounce on in the bouncy castle as soon as you feel uh, the need and once you get all the way to the top you'll get a mini kit indeed that's right all right, so we got a couple of, uh, we got a dwarf pole over here, a little dwarf pole action. Not to be confused with where Mr. Santa Claus resides up in the North Pole. So this would be the dwarf pole. And uh, it takes two to tango, and once you get on top of him, go ahead and jump up top and drop down onto this little ledge carefully and grab the third of four treasures. So making some good ground there. Uh, and this is uh, kind of a weird statue uh, cane here. Like a big daddy cane. Big eagle cane. All right. Anyways, there's a couple of tables in the far back right corner over behind a uh, jacuzzi or hot tub, whichever your preference is on that. We're going to take a quick dip real quick. We all know these dwarves are in need of some, some cleanliness or some washing. And, uh, yeah, so a few studs floating around in here. I can't imagine you don't have the stud requirement yet for the Master Burglar. But if you don't, make sure you're destroying everything and grabbing them. Plenty of Lego loot floating around, too. And once you destroy both tables, a couple of bricks will bounce around, and you can actually build them up and uh, make a little jetty on the side of the jacuzzi. So, little jetty for the jacuzzi for you. For you -zy. All right, make sure you get all three of these right. It'll go a lot faster if you do. Just take your time and hit the in icon indicated when it flashes. As per use, the third time's the charm. We'll go ahead and grab our, I don't know what that is, like a gold afro is what it looks like. Or like a, a like a golf ball that's been cut up or something. I don't know. Anyways, we'll take one more bounce in this bouncy castle and whee! And head out of the secret cave. And now we're back to these flies. Now, in case you missed it a minute ago, if you're clicking the quick links down below, these flies came out of a little cave on the back right side that we used our wizardry 
to go ahead and destroy the blue bricks that were preventing them from getting out. So once they get out, use Radagast to go ahead and heal them. Um, I don't think you need to heal both of them, but uh, you definitely want to heal at least one of them. And once you do, you'll kind of notice that, uh, so, well, once you ride one of them, that's the key. you got to get on one and ride it after you've healed it. Some red spiders will drop down. And you can see them pop down in the back, but it takes them a while to get there. So I hopped on and let all three build up. Then I hopped up to get the schematic and save my buddy, too. So this guy's right in the back. You probably found this on the story playthrough. And, uh, oh, to the, yeah. See, look at these red spiders. So now we got three of them down here. Now you can see, as I was saying, it does kind of take a little while for them to respawn. So uh, basically, there will, there will be three sets of three that drop down. That'll be a nine, and then one last one will pop out. And again, we have this sped up a little bit, so it doesn't seem very long. And if you're playing and it does seem like it's taking forever, just be patient. They will come. You can see eight, and I'm trying to get this guy. He's faster than me, so I counter him and go the other way. And nine, and last but not least, Booyaka Shao. Number nine or number ten, which gets us the ninth mini kit. That's kind of a mouthful, a little bit of a confusing statement. Now, basically, all we need to do is uh, save our last two guys here in order to end the level. But before we do that, we actually have one more mini kit we want to grab, and uh, you might have grabbed this one in the story. It's actually pretty easily accessible once you uh, get up top with Lego Loss here. There's a mini kit floating around. Now, it's kind of a tricky jump. I won't lie. I did edit out my three or four failed attempts. Uh, again, the depth perception is just a little bit weird for me. So, uh, anyways, get your jump on and get out there. There's also another way that you could come from on the right-hand side where you can see those two ropes out there. Uh, some might find that way easier. But, basically, you use the grapple like I'm showing you right now. And then you climb up this wall with an elf. Preferably, uh, well, I guess not preferably, but... More than likely, it'll be Lego loss. And then but instead of just tight pants, tight roping over to the side, jump over to the left and grab the spider web. But uh, when you're ready to get out of here, go ahead and take out the last spider, save your buddy, and we will roll out. So, oh to the yeah, level 10, flies and spiders free play is uh, in the bag now. What do you guys think about that? We are well over the halfway point, and in fact, we're almost to what I would call the home stretch of all of the main missions. Uh, we did get the Master Burglar status, which was kind of a high one, but with that two times multiplier, it makes it pretty easy. We did, oh, look at the Dazzle Wig. I still think Gold Afro is a better term for it. And the Spider Bomb, that's that's appropriate, right? Merkwood File, I'm, yeah, I'm not, not feeling that. Looks like some green goo. Stay away from green blue, green glue. And we got a bomb blade, which is kind of cool. Probably put that to use at some point. You guys have any desire to see a, like a mithril treasure item, like me going through and like using all the different items and such? Would would that be cool? I don't I don't know what you guys would like. Like usually we get all that informational stuff, but you know sometimes we like to have fun with videos too. So if you guys have any suggestions for us, let us know. As you can see, we did stack up all ten mini kits. Got a couple of mithril bricks and some extra studage for all of the mini kits as well. And uh, that brings us to the conclusion uh, that this Lego The Hobbit Level 10 Flies and Spiders Free Play video is officially over. Uh, nothing to see here now. Move along, people. No, I'm just kidding. There's plenty to talk about still. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful or maybe entertaining or hey, who knows, maybe you want, maybe I missed something and you want to share it with me, drop a comment down below or head on over to Facebook or Twitter. We also have uh, some people commenting on our happythumbsgaming.com now as well. Uh, we have a uh, comment set up so you can comment on any video on any page. So pretty much the same as commenting on YouTube, but it's just in a different place. And uh, we do our best to answer comments multiple times per day. So, uh, you know, it may take us a couple hours, but usually we get to you. And if for some reason we don't, message us again because there might have been a loophole in the system and it might not have made it to us. So we want to thank all you guys for your support, especially those of you who've gone out of your way to go to our store and purchase stickers. We look forward to some more of those uh, being sent to us to post in our gallery of all of our Thumbie and Booyah Kashao sticker sightings. So. That's going to wrap it up completely. As always, until next time. Fro-da-da-do-da-do-da-do-do.